The lecture for the today's topic is regarding obliteal fossa, its boundaries and contents. Popliteal fossa is a diamond shaped hollow or the space that is present on the back of the knee joint. And this popliteal fossa is homologous to the fossa of upper limb that is known as cuboidal fossa. So the boundaries are supramedially, semitendinosis and semimembranosis, supralaterally biceps femoris muscle, infromedially medial head of gastrocnemius and infrolaterally lateral head of the gastrocnemius as well as plantaris muscles also. You can see here in the diagram this is known as semitendinosis while semimembranosis which is forming the supramedial boundary and the lateral aspect that is supralaterally biceps femoris and even you can see uh, the muscles which is present in the infromedial aspect that is medial head of gastrocnemius and infrolaterally uh, lateral head of the gastrocnemius as well as the plantaris muscle. The floor of the popliteal fossa is formed by the popliteal surface of the femur, the capsules of the knee joint and oblique popliteal ligament of the knee joint as well as fascia covering the popliteus muscles. So you can see here same structure which is forming the floor. Then the roof, roof is formed by the strong popliteal fascia and roof also consists of short saphenous vein, three cutaneous nerve that is known as posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh, posterior division of medial cutaneous nerve of thigh and sural communicating nerve. The content of popliteal fossa are popliteal artery and its branches, popliteal vein and its tributaries tibial nerve and its branches, common perineal nerve and its branches, popliteal lymph nodes and popliteal fat. Same thing you can see here in the diagram. This is known as the popliteal artery and its branches. This is popliteal vein and this is known as the tibial nerve while this is known as the common perineal nerve. Keep in mind the nerve which is coming straight that is known as the tibial nerve that is from the superangular popliteal fossa and passes between the two head of the gastrocnemius and the nerve which is along the biceps femoris that is known as common perineal nerve and can you see here the arrangement of the nerve vein and the artery in the upper part from lateral to medial side it is artery vein and the nerve in the middle part we have the nerve vein and then artery that is from superior to deep and in the lower part from lateral to medial side there is a nerve vein and the artery. Let's know the, the important branch of popliteal artery. So there are so many branches but let's know about the branches that is known as supramedial and the, the supralateral genicular arteries. Then we have inframedial and the infralateral genicular arteries, middle genicular arteries and we have a small small muscular branch as well as the cutaneous branch. And this popliteal artery I will be dealing in the next topic also. Then same how the branches of the tibial nerve, we have supramedial genicular nerve, infromedial genicular nerve and middle genicular nerve will be there small small cutaneous branch as well as the vascular branch and muscular branch will be present. Then we have the branches of common perineal nerve that is known as supralateral genicular nerve, infralateral genicular nerve, recurrent genicular nerve and cutaneous as well as the small muscular branch will be there. And this all the genicular arteries uh, which is a branch of popliteal artery is mentioned here in the diagram as well as these all are the branch of the tibial nerve. Same how this is all the topic I will be dealing in the next lecture. But for the 10 marks question you can write all those things. Now we have some of the clinical correlation related with the popliteal fossa that is the popliteal pulse can be felt in the popliteal fossa. There is a term known as popliteal aneurysm. The popliteal artery is more prone to the aneurysm than any other arteries in the body. Clinically, this popliteal aneurysm present a pulsatile midline swelling in the popliteal fossa. There is a cyst known as Baker cyst. It is a swelling seen while which occurs in the popliteal fossa due to inflammation of 
a synovial bursa and that synovial bursa is under the tendon of semimembranosus thank you